All right, YouTubers, what's going on? We're going to come back at you today again with another watch review. Today we're looking at the Orient Flight Watch. Um, this is a Flieger style watch, Flieger style watch, which stands for pilot in German. And these, this kind of style of watch has gone back in history, clear back to World War II. Um, originally, like 1,200 watches were made for the uh, Fliegers or pilots uh, for the German Luftwaffe. Luftwaffe, and I'm not German. I'm probably totally butchering that, so I shouldn't even read it. But uh, they're pretty much made as flight tools. Um, the, the whole idea was that they'd be easily visible, that they um, could quick, the pilot could quickly tell the time. So, the, and the watch was actually made for the navigator. Um, and when they made these, they actually weren't kept to use uh, to keep it as a flight equipment, with the exception that. You know they would be returned post mission, so there's just a little bit of you know history behind them. Um, typically, they're around this size of a watch, sometimes even larger. This is a 42 millimeter case. Um, but you, the flight watches range anywhere from like a 37 up to like a 50 you know millimeter uh, casing. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the specs of this watch. This is a um, Orient, which is um, the movement is an automatic, but it is a Orient proprietary movement, the 48743 movement. Um, power reserve on that is about 40 hours, and that's actually pretty accurate um, from wearing the watch quite frequently recently. It's uh, definitely kept good time, and it's kept a pretty good power reserve. I'd say that's pretty accurate. It's got a screw-down crown. That is water resistant to 100 meters. Uh, the case is thickness is 12 millimeters, so not very thick. Um, kind of move the pedal a little bit so you can see that. 22 millimeter lugs, so very common size. Lots of lots of strap options for you there. Um, it's got a one year warranty through Orient. Uh, price on these typically, if you look on their website, it says like $300. You can find them really easily um, around $135 to $170. Sometimes they even go on sale for less. So they are a budget um, automatic watch. And a good way to get into the flight watches if you're interested in flight watches. Um, it's a really popular design. There's so many options out there, and I really, really enjoy them. I think it's cool history behind them, and I just really like the look of them. Um, comfort. So, just to kind of review this watch a little bit, um, this is actually belongs to a friend of mine. He it's on loan from a friend. I've uh, been trying it out, been wanting to try out the Orient. Hadn't had a chance to purchase one yet. They're kind of hard to find actually right now, um, especially in the, like a normal black dial. Um, there's quite a few options. I think there's a blue, a tan, a green. Uh, there's like a PVD coated case. So there's a lot of options. They're pretty highly collectible watches as well. Uh, comfort wise, it's a very comfortable watch. Now a lot of comfort has to do with the strap, but um, as far as what wearing on your wrist and the size of the case, um, again, I have like about a seven and a quarter inch and I'm just gonna show you a wrist shot here. I have about a seven and a quarter inch wrist and it's about a perfect size watch for me. I absolutely love this size. It's it's just sort of kind of my sweet spot. 42, 43 millimeters is my sweet spot for watches. Um, very, very comfortable. It sits pretty flat on your arm, so it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't move around a lot, unlike some of the bigger cased um, watches. So there's a, a quick uh, wrist shot for you. Very comfortable. Uh, accuracy of the, of the time. Um, the movement is a self-winding time uh, movement, so it's not going to it's not hand won't uh, hand windable, hand wound. Uh, best way to say that. Um, you cannot, you know, wind it by hand. You, it is self winding, so it just goes off the movement of your arm. Oh, we're losing it there because I didn't strap it back on. Let's do that. Um, which, you know, a lot of automatics are like that. The Seiko Monster that I reviewed earlier, the first generation, is like that. Um, the Seiko SKO 007 and 009, which are both very popular watches are both like that, so I'm having a hard time with this pillow all of a sudden. Ha! <laughs> Stay still. There we go. Trying to get the glare off is actually what I was trying to accomplish, so... There we are. Um, so, it accuracy-wise, has been pretty good. It has gained a little bit of time, but not much. Um, pretty typical for a, a budget automatic. Uh, style, I think this really is a good example of the Flieger style of watch, the flight watch. It's got the, um, you know, the original, a lot of the original Flight watches had this typical this type of dial. Instead of having your 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc., they actually have minute markers, 5, 10, 15, 20 instead. Then you have your, your triangle here at the top for the, the 12 o'clock. That's actually pretty common. And if you notice in the smaller dial, you actually do see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
some of the flight watches also have like military time on them um, instead. So it is a military style watch, which I'm really, I'm really fond of the military style watches. It's definitely a, a very cool niche, I think, in the watch industry. So, uh, so it does a really good job of of, of uh, meeting that style. I would give that um, a four out of five. Uh, comfort's definitely a four out of five, and accuracy of the time it's been about four. Um, it's a pretty high ranking but I, I base that on the price because you're not paying a lot of money for this watch so um, loom on this watch is okay um, it's it's decent I'm gonna try to get a good shot as you know it can sometimes be difficult so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, shut the lights off here and, and get you a loom shot so there's a pretty good shot of the loom um, it's pretty good I mean it's not the best loom out there um, it's nice and green and again on camera it's really hard to capture this it looks a little bit more bluish green and it's on in actually in person versus what you see here. So the loom is pretty good. It doesn't last terribly long, um, but in a dark situation like this, you can see very visibly uh, the numbers. So I, I would give the loom about a three out of five. So loom is good on the watch. Um, not the best, not like Seiko quality loom, um, but it is pretty good. Um, a lot of fly watches don't have the best loom, so that's you know pretty standard. But it, it's it's not horrible but it's not great either so kind of take that into consideration if that's a big deal but for the money again this is a really good deal um, I you know I, overall I give this watch a four out of five stars um, that's kind of how I'm gonna kind of start wit rating my watches uh, based on those kind of things comfort accuracy of time the style uh, the loom and you know how it represents the actual style of watch whether it be a, uh, a uh, flight watch or dive watch and this definitely does a great job of representing the classic flagger style so all right guys that's going to be my uh review on the orient flight i uh, highly recommend you pick one up if you're looking for a flight watch and you don't have a ton of money to spend there's obviously nicer options if you're willing to spend the money um, but if you're on a budget and this is something you know you want to spend under 200 dollars, this is a really good option all right guys thanks for watching